Good day everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the disorders of the kidney syndromes. The kidney locates in the lower jaw. The meridian connects with the bladder. The orifice are the ears, urethra meatus, external genitalia, and anus. So the kidney problem may present in the disorders of these problems. The functions of the kidney. The kidney stores axons, dominates development and reproduction. Storing axons dominates developing and reproduction. So human growth development. So if a kid, a kid, it grows slower than they supposed to, then we're going to focus on the kidney. The human reproduction, infertilities, we're going to focus on the kidney. Because the kidney is yin and yang, are the roots of the whole body is yin and yang. That's because the axons, the innate axons, stores in the kidney. So the kidney, the kidney's disorder also can manifest with the other, can be combination of the other organs. The kidney governs the water metabolism. So the kidney disorder may result in what the disorders of water metabolism, such as edemas. Kidney receive the qi. That's why, from some kidney problem, the patient may feel difficult breathing or even panting. Fear. The fear we mentioned in the gallbladder, the kidney, and the liver. Bones. Yes. So these manifest these the manifestations can present in the these bones disorder, ear tinnitus. The first one, the kidney yang deficiency. The kidney yang deficiency means the kidney yang failing to warm the body and transform qi. Because the kidney yang is the root yang of the body. So the manifestation is not only keep in the kidney, the patient may have something related to, specifically related to the kidney, such as the pain, the soreness and pain in the waist and knees. This one is the key symptoms of the kidney problem. Impotence, spermaria, premature ejaculation, infertilities. So these are all men's or women's problem that can relate to the kidney. Apart from this problem, the patient also may present with cold lumps that's due to the yang deficiency. The patient may have the symptom of frequent urination at night. So normally, in a healthy adult, we do not need or at least or maximum once urination at night during the sleep. But if someone suffers from kidney yang deficiency, they will they will need to get up more than two times, two, three, even four times per night for urination. That's kidney yang deficiency. Chronic diarrhea. Always lose stool containing undigested food. You can see from the stool what they ate the day before undigested food. Why you can see undigested food in a stool? That's due to the yang deficiency. 
you don't have enough heat to cook the food you eat. That's why you can see the food. This is very similar when you cook your food. It's uncooked or it's not well cooked. You still see the stuff. Diarrhea before dawn. Diarrhea in the early morning. That's also a very typical symptom of kidney yang deficiency. Edema in the lower limbs. So because the kidney dominates the water metabolism, palpitation, the kidney yang deficiency affects the heart yang deficiency. Shortness of breath, coughing. Why coughing, panting? So the reason for coughing and panting, qi, the kidney re receives qi. So when the kidney yang deficiency, the kidney fails to receive the qi. That's why the patient presents as coughing and panting. The qi doesn't go deep enough. It goes very shallow and no out. That's panting. So that's the kidney receiving function. The tongue is pale because of yang deficiency. Enlarged tongue. Enlarged tongue is the water retention. The pulse is deep. Yang deficiency. Sown of the kidney. Soreness and cold pain in the waist and knees. So that's a very important manifestation of kidney problem. Soreness and weakness in the waist and knees. The patient will tell you that they feel soft on the knees. Low libido. Frequent urination at night. Chronic diarrhea, especially a diarrhea at dawn, edema, and yang deficiency symptoms. So that's from kidney yang deficiency. So as you can see, the kidney is the last organ that we are going to introduce in the zhang fu differentiation. As, as you can see from the discussion, each organ has their specific manifestations such as the heart, poor memory, palpitation, poor during disturbed sleep, insomnia. So those are the very typical manifestations of the heart. The spleen, poor appetite, reduced food intake, loose stool. These are the manifestations of the spleen. The lung, the patient may present this coughing, panting. The liver can be the eyes problem, can be the dizziness, can be the vertical. And now the kidney, the soreness and weakness in the waist and knees. That's the very important symptom of the kin kidney disorder. Urination at night. Also very important. Another diarrhea, this diarrhea, where I mentioned the spleen, you also mentioned the diarrhea. Or the loose stool. There's no clear line between, between the loose stool and diarrhea. So how do you know this diarrhea is due, is due to the kidney yang deficiency? The other diarrhea or loose stool is from spleen yang deficiency. It is very easy from to distinguish from the words that in our actual life sometimes it's not easy to identify the diarrhea due to kidney yang deficiency or due to spleen yang deficiency. That's why sometimes Vivio says that's due to kidney and spleen yang deficiency. The reason is because the patient may present with both, such as 
the weakness in the waist. The other reason is because the kidney yang is the root yang of the whole body. If the kidney yang deficiency, the patient won't have very strong spleen yang normally. That's why the kidney yang deficiency always accompanied by the spleen yang deficiency. That's why the chronic diarrhea sometimes we will diagnose as kidney acid spleen yang deficiency. Nima. So that's because of the, the kidney's function, the kidney dominates the water metabolisms in the body. Kidney indeficiency. Internal deficiency heats due to kidney in. So kidney in deficiency is very similar to the other deficiency. The patient will present with in deficiency and the kidney symptoms. The kidney symptoms are soreness, weakness in the waist and knees. Dizziness, tinnitus, that's because the orifice in the ears during disturbed sleep. Kidney in, the internal heat affects the heart. Scanty menstruation. Indeficiency, amenorrhea, uterine bleeding due to internal heat. Now again, we go to the indeficiency symptoms. These are all indeficiency symptoms. The tongue, red, scanty coating. So because of the indeficiency, will result in Deficiency heat. That's why the tongue is red. So how to identify the kidney yang deficiency and kidney in deficiency? How to distinguish these two? Very importantly from the tongue. The patient may present, both of them may present with weakness and soreness in the waist and knees. But the tongue must be different. One is pale, the other one is red, because one got diff internal coldness. This one in deficiency got internal heat. So that's the key manifestations of kidney in deficiency. Soreness, weakness in the waist and knees. In deficiency symptoms. Tinnitus. Can kidney yang deficiency have tinnitus? So that's the question. Can kidney yang deficiency has tinnitus? The answer is yes, because that's the orifice of the kidney. As you can see, it also can be the man's problem, the lady's problem, the infertility problem. So from here, we actually cannot distinguish because both of these two symptoms may result in these problems. But the difference is in deficiency symptoms or yang deficiency symptoms. The kidney axons deficiency refers to hyperfunction in girls' development and reproduction. Manifestation can be delayed in growth and development. Uh, the teeth will be shorter than others. Delayed fontanelle closure. Skeletal, skeletal muscle facet, flaccidity. So the weakness in the muscles. Also, it can be the intelligence. So the, the brain development. This is the delayed brain development. So the, the, the teeth may present in poor brain development or in other words, in other layman words, kind of stupid. So this can be the manifestations of 
kidney essence deficiency in kids. In adults, mostly related to the men's problem, women's problem, and aging, premature aging, aging, soreness and weakness in the waist and knees. The tongue is pale, pulse is weak. So when we talk about the premature aging, that's how to keep healthy and kind of prolong the life or man maintain your health. That's to store or to preserve kidney essence. In future, when you study more about Chinese medicine and acupuncture, you will know that we can use the herbal medicine and acupuncture to maintain our health or the other translation, cut, cultivate, cultivate health cultivation, how to prolong the life, how to, how to maintain health, premature aging, how to slow down the aging, Tonify the kidney essence to slow down the consumption of the kidney essence, the delayed growth and development, reduced reproduction function, premature aging. So these are the key manifestations of kidney essence deficiency. The kidney qi insecurity. This syndrome mostly refers to the kidney qi fails to store and hold the, the essence. So the patient will present with the men's problem, again, the women's problem, such as the problem related to the spoons, the problem related to the menstruation. So the patient firstly will have the manifestation of soreness and weakness in the waist. For men, they will have spermatomeria. As the tiny chi fails to store the sperm, premature ejaculation. For ladies, the menstruation perfumes the career. Possible miscarriage, frequent urination at night, as the, the kidney fails, the kidney chi fails to store the urine in the bladder at night. Tinnitus, deafness, mental fatigue, so that's a chi deficiency sym symptoms. Pale tongue, so the, the manifestation, soreness and weakness in the waist and knee. The patient will present with frequent spermatorrhea, dribbling menstruation. The patient may be made miscarriage and kidney chi deficiency. So for this manifestation, this syndrome, mostly we refer to the insecurity. Kidney qi plus insecurity, the qi, what need what needs to be secured? That's the manifestation, such as the sperm, such as the menstruation, such as the leukorrhea, and the urine. It's supposed to stay in somewhere, but now it comes out, which they are not supposed to, or they come out more as the insecure, the insecurity. The kidney failing to receive qi, this is mostly related to the receiving function of the kidney. Mostly 
presents with chronic coughing, panting, more exhalation than inhalation, shortness of breath. Worsens upon physical exertion, physical exercise, as the qi deficiency symptoms. Soreness and weakness in the waist, as the kidney deficiency symptoms. A soft voice, as deficiency. Spontaneous sweating, qi deficiency. Mental fatigue, qi deficiency. So this this syndrome mostly refers to kidney qi deficiency and then because this patient presents with chronic coughing and panting so we diagnose as kidney failing to receive qi the treatment towards this syndrome also to tonify the kidney to recover the receiving function In severe cases, the patient may pre experience ur urinary incontinence when coughing, which means they can urinate a little bit when coughing. The times of pale white coating. So these are the manifestations of the qi lose the function of receiving. The kidney loses the function of receiving. The bladder is the coupled organ of the kidney. The function of the bladder is to store and discharge urine. We are only going to introduce one symptom of the bladder because the main function of the bladder is to store and discharge the urine. So the dysfunction of the bladder also will present in these two functions. The damp heat. Firstly, we're going to find the manifestation of damp heat. The damp heat, the dampness, the patient may present with greasy coating. The heat, the red tongue. Because this is the bladder problem, the patient will present frequent urgent urination, painful urination. Why the patient will feel painful urination? It's also due to the heat. The heat burns the muscle. That's why the patient can feel painful. With the burning sensation, it's also due to the heat. Scanty dark yellow urine, or it can be bloody urine. Urine containing stones. This is a very special, so it is not commonly seen. The urine containing stones is the can be the kidney stone or blood stones descending. Distending or pulling pain in the lower abdomen or lower back. The patient may present with fever. So these manifestations we're going to diagnose as damp heat. The key manifestations are the frequent urgent urination and painful urination, burning sensation. And then you find the manifestations of the damp heat symptoms. So until today, we have introduced all the symptoms of the different organs. As you can see, when we study these different symptoms, we focus on the function of the zhang fu functions and also because of the theory the chinese medicine and acupuncture theory are more based on the zhang organs that's why you can see we got more symptoms on zhang organs
we only mentioned a few symptoms on full organs. That's the characteristics of acupuncture theory that we based on the sound organs, the five sound organs, the treatments. We use the four diagnostic method to gather the manifestations and symptoms that we discussed here. We use the theory to analyze the manifestations and then we conclude to a syndrome in future when we study the therapeutics our treatments will base on the syndrome we're going to use different treatment methods to relieve the syndrome such as the spleen qi deficiency or kidney indeficiency we, we study in this video we're going to think about other many other method how to tonify the kidney in that's how to treat the problems in the next video we are going to introduce some of the combination symptoms of the organs thank you for your attention